Okay, so let's work backwards. Let's start, oh, I'm sorry, well, let's start from the first one we did, which was 39, 27, 36, and we're going to work backwards. We should be getting the same answer we got before, 39, 46, right? So let's go ahead and do that. Okay, so we have 39, 27, and 36. Okay, I'm going to show you the easiest way to do this. First of all, this minutes portion, okay, that has to do with the amount of minutes in one degree, right? This seconds part has to do with the seconds part of one degree, right? So I can just write down my degree. First of all, it's going to come down here, 39. And then the, when I'm done with the whole thing, it's going to represent degree measure, okay? Just so you know, okay? That's why I'm writing little parentheses, okay? But now I'm going to erase the parentheses because after we're done, it's going to represent degrees, okay? So 39, bring that down. The 27 minutes of one degree means that it's 27 over 60, right? So I'm talking about one degree. One degree has 60 minutes in it, right? So this is 27 minutes of one degree. Now this 36 part, so I'm going to bring that down. So now I'm going to bring down the 36 is going to be 36 seconds out of one degree. Now look at this, one degree is equal to 3600 seconds. So this is actually 36 seconds out of one degree. So one degree is 3600 seconds. Okay. Now, if you understood what I just did, that's fantastic. If you didn't understand what I just did, two ways to go about it. You could just memorize what I just did right here and do this for the rest of your life. And one day, trust me, it will sink in. Or what you can do is you can go back and repeat what I just uh, finished saying as many times as you need. And if you're still not getting it, you'll get it tomorrow morning. Guarantee it. Okay. So now, well, look, we have a number. We got a fraction and a fraction. What you're doing is you're going to add all of it together. Okay. So let's do this together. Okay. So 39, so I'm going to type in my calculator, 39, 39 plus, now I'm going to put in parentheses 27 divided by 60, and I'm going to close the parentheses, then I'm going to hit plus again, and I'm going to open a new set of parentheses and type in 36 divided by 3600 and close the parentheses, okay, and then I'm going to hit enter, or equal. Okay, so let me put the keys that I put in here. 39, then I hit the plus, and I hit open parentheses, and I just typed in 27, then the divi division sign, then 60, and then I closed the parentheses, and then I hit plus, and then I opened up a new parentheses. And then I typed in 36, little division, 3600, close the parentheses, and then hit equal. Okay, I'm not going to do this every single time. I'm just doing it this one time, just so that way you get it. And my answer was 39.46. 39.46. And that's degrees, so here's a little degree. You see? And it worked out perfect, right? So that's exactly how it is. Now at this point right now, you could probably just do the rest of them, okay? But just for practice, we're going to do it again. Okay, so now we're going to do the 128, 40, 48. So we just did this problem. We just messed with this problem like there's no tomorrow. So we're completely done with that one. We've done it forward and backwards, meaning we went from decimal to minutes and seconds and from minutes and seconds to decimal. So now let's attack this one, 128, 40, 48. Okay, so 128, 40, 48. Okay, bring the 128 down plus this 40 represents 40 minutes of one degree, which is 60 minutes. Then this is 48 seconds out of one degree, which is 3600 seconds. Okay, so ready? Let's do this together. 128 plus, open parentheses, 
40 divided by 60 close parentheses plus open parentheses 48 divided by 3600 close parentheses equal or enter you should get 128.68 degrees right that's exactly what we got before right so we're done with that one uh, let's skip over to you kinda got the concept right let's do this one the 1781 let me do that one cuz that one I want you to see something real quick I want to show you how sometimes it doesn't come out exactly the way uh, you started off with meaning if we put in 1781.57.59 we're gonna get pretty close to the 1781.96651 but we did round and I forgot whether we rounded up or down I think we rounded down to just 59 so that means our decimal point is going to be off by a little bit so let's put in the 1781.57.59 so that's going to be 1781 degrees 57 minutes and 59 seconds we're going to bring down the 1781 plus 57 minutes over 60 plus 59 over 3600 okay now before we work this last problem let me explain why I'm having you guys open and close parentheses the main reason is just to get you in the habit of doing so your calculators using algorithms to figure out the answers and in doing so it's using the order of operations meaning it's doing parentheses then exponents then multiplication then division then addition then subtraction if you use parentheses it'll save you a lot of heartache especially when you have to divide before you want to multiply so you'll see what I mean when you have certain equations that require you to divide uh, multiply add and subtract all in one giant equation as a matter of fact if you were to type in like 2 divided by 3 times 4 plus 7 divided by 8 it'll do the multiplication first before the division and it'll divide before it'll add and it'll add before it'll subtract so anyway that's just something to keep in mind alright now so back to this problem here so what you're gonna do is you're gonna type in 1781 so I'm gonna do it with you 1781 hit the plus sign then open a parentheses and then type in 57 for 57 then divide then 60 then close your parentheses plus open parentheses 59 divided by 3600 close parentheses and then hit enter or equal and you'll end up with 1781.966389 Okay, so when you notice that the 1781.966389 is off just a little bit from this 1781.96651, and that's because we rounded this 59 seconds right here. So you got to be careful. And this is just an example of the inaccuracies you'll get when it comes to decimal points and dealing with uh, with seconds and decimal points and rounding. So anyway. Uh, I hope this was helpful. Uh, good luck with your homework and tests in the future, and thank you for watching.